Family business means everything to me. It is taking an existing business to a new level with new ideas and parents' experience. Carrying forward the legacy of my father and spreading the joy of photography. My granddad started in '41, and then it was my dad, and today it's me. It's it's legacy to me, and I want to make it shine. The philosophy of this course is to produce great entrepreneurs of tomorrow. We don't look at where you are today, but where you have the potential to be tomorrow. I joined in 1996 after completing my engineering, and today we manufacture electrical water heaters, gas water heaters, and solar water heaters. Entrepreneurs know how to do business, but they don't know where to look out for critical areas to find out flaws. And the most important critical area faced by SMEs and MSMEs today is huge chunk of receivables. And therefore in the class, we discussed how to classify these receivables into 0 to 30, 30 to 60, 60 to 90 days and above. At V school, I was exposed to a lot of Japanese business culture. They had processes which were very visual. And I implemented a similar system in my company called as a one glance dispatch plan sheet. Uh, between my sales hub and my factory and that resulted in reducing inventories and faster deliveries. National Institute of Photography was started by my father in 1983 with the sole intention of providing quality education to the people who look at it as a hobby as well as profession. When I joined my family business, I faced challenges about managing people. The son lands up in this atmosphere where he's been referring to each of these people as uncle, you know, bhaiya and all that. The real challenge is, while wanting to make it professional, without dismantling the relationship and the family bonding structure he has to create it. During the course, I realized that I should keep aside my self-interest and work for the interest of customers and my people. That's when it became like, you know, they work with me rather than they work for me. And things started transforming. A business started by my father. We are basically manufacturer of plastic disposable products like cups, containers, food packaging products. Being into the FMB, I have learned about Gimba. Spending more time on the shop floor helped me to reduce my manufacturing cost as well connect with my staff. Gimba is a Japanese word. Gen means real, ba means place. So Gimba is real place, the battlefront. A good manager must go to the real place that is the shop floor. Then he comes to know exactly what is happening and gives a great decision. And the other thing I have learned from the marketing is that it's best to go to the existing customers and asking for the new product development and develop a new product as per their requirements than the other way around. Implementing all these various learnings resulted in more than doubling my sales and currently we are a regional player, soon planning to go national and eventually global. To truly make it a national institute in photography education, expand into the related fields and be a leader in them also. Currently, we are manufacturing of 400 different products. We are Asia's largest manufacturer and soon to be world's largest plastic disposable food product manufacturer.